Hey, I'm Kira and this is my husband Tommy and our two amazing kids Kaylee and Jackson. We decided to fill a lifelong dream of ours and buy a bus to convert into a motorhome and hit the road full time. Follow along to watch us renovate this bad girl into our new home on wheels and check out all the fun and adventures we get up to while travelling Australia full time with kids. This is Frankie. She's an Iveco Delta Mark II that started life as a 52 seat school bus. It has a Cummins 8.3 litre six cylinder turbo diesel engine with an Eaton Fuller six speed gearbox. We carry 400 litres of water, 2000 watts of solar, 5000 watts of battery storage and it runs a 3000 watt inverter. Our total weight is around 15 tonne and we tow a small Suzuki four-wheel drive behind us. We spent approximately 12 months completely refitting her in our spare time and although she is completely livable, we still have a few finishing touches to finish her off. Anyway, here's the tour. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, welcome. We are here at the Big Four Wit Sunday Adventure Resort and we're going to show you through our tiny home Frankie. Come on board. I'm going to take you guys up the back and we'll make our way forwards. Welcome to our home. Alrighty, this is our main bedroom. This has a queen bed. We have little bedside tables up the back with USB sockets in them so we can charge all of our devices back here as well. Got some reading lights, our Sirocco fans. We could not go without these babies. We inserted or what is it called? No, inserted. What? Installed? <laughs> installed. We installed a back window to increase airflow through here because as you can imagine, in a big metal box, it can get quite hot. That is one of the best things I love about our build. Um, we've also got full size cupboards here and underneath this big bed, we have tons of storage. Now we have a few extra guests with us at the moment from overseas. So we've got lots of luggage, but usually there's tons of space under here for storage, which is what you want in a home. Now Tommy installed these awesome day night blinds. So we've got privacy and light that can come in during the day and then full blackout curtains for the evenings. Now we're moving on into the kids bedroom. So we decided with the kids bedroom to go with full size single bunks. These ones are just from Ikea. We just picked them up from Ikea and installed them right in there, which they fit perfectly. And we just designed the rest of the bus around them. They've got fans. We're actually going to replace these fans because we want more Sirocco ones for airflow. They've also got some reading lights that have USB points for charging as well. And a hatch here for airflow and roof access. Um, Tommy built this awesome cupboard for them. So they've got heaps of space. We've got extra guests. So there's a few extra clothes in here. This is usually our dirty laundry hamper down the bottom. This is all of their homeschooling stuff. And this is our games box. And this is their big little library <laughs> that they have there. Underneath their bed, there's tons more storage. So they've got a toy box each in one of those. And then two more of these back there for extra blankets. And one of them has our winter clothes in them as well. So we are not short on storage in here. We love it. We have everything has a place and all the storage that we can get, we will make the most of it. Day night blinds all the way down the hallway. We went through a few different ideas for layout, but this one was the one that stuck and we're super happy with it. It's a little bit dark in the bathroom. Might have to take that curtain down. Let me take that curtain down. Okay. So we've got a full size shower there with a little vent at the top. A uh, Dometic toilet, a vanity, and then a little toiletries cupboard on the side for extra storage as well. So everything you need in there. Tiny little bathroom, but it does the trick. Still waiting on a bit of walling to finish that. And then this is the main area that we spend most of our time when we are indoors. So our couch converts into another bed. So this just rolls out. And then you've got another bed, or we use it often for family movie nights. We've got the projector, which projects right onto these day-night blinds over here. And you can watch it either inside, or we can watch it from the outside as well, which is really cool. The kids love to invite all the campsite kids around to have a little movie night. Um, full-size IKEA kitchen, full-size LG fridge. Um, this is one of my favourite things in the whole build, because we just it's like just having a normal house size so fridge. Uh, the best thing about the kitchen is we have these drawers that are, what are they called? Like, 
Uh, no bump slam, stop, bump stop. Yeah. So it stops them from opening when we are driving. So these don't even open. We didn't need any locks or anything on these. We have everything we need in there. So tons of drawers all behind there. And this is our pantry where we have all of our food, which works really well. And then over here, we've got the two burner Dometic gas cooktop. We don't cook very often inside, but when we do, that's super duper handy to have. Two 40, 40 volt plugs for toasters and kettles and blenders and all the things that you need. Big deep sink favorite. And then this is our brekkie bar, homeschool bar, uh, board game bar, all the things that we do over this side as well. I'm gonna pass it over to Tommy and he'll tell you a bit about the lights and the electrics and all the fun stuff that I don't really understand about. <laughs> Um, right, so we have um, 240 volt on board obviously, um, we've got or will have very shortly about 2000 watts of solar on the roof which is coming to this um, controller which has 5 kilowatts of battery power lithium um, and then we've got um, a 3000 watt inverter. Um, this system is all in one so we didn't have to really wire too much up um, apart from um, a 24 to 12 volt reducer um, which goes to our fuse boxes in the center up there um, I do go into a lot more depth on our YouTube channel so if you want to follow that then um, I'm sure there'll be a link somewhere um, so yeah 5, 000, 5 kilowatts of power um, 2000 kilowatts of solar on the roof uh, we carry about 400 liters of water two gas panels uh, two gas bottles um, that's about it yeah yeah so that is our home. This is the seating area. This area is not finished yet, but we'll show you around a little bit. Oh, Tommy, do you want to take that so I'm not chucking them around? Spot with the Akubra, super, super important. Uh, kids and I sit here. Tommy does most of the driving. And then up here, we've got a couple of little nooks which has yet to be built out, which is for most of our towels and beach bags and handbags and day bags. Water bottles have their little spot down there as well. It's super important in such a small space, well for me anyway, that everything has its place. So we're kind of navigating it all and finding it all as we go. There's a little um, little hatch under here for shoes that we shove our shoes into to keep them out of the way as well. All of these curtains Tommy whipped up for us, they shut across to make it full blackout and full privacy all the way around these windows and those ones as well, which makes it really handy. We've also got, oh do you want to do the speech about the aircon um, yes yeah, so we've got about I think it's five kilowatts of aircon we've got one unit outside um, then with two heads on it um, so that brings down the temperature pretty well um, once we've got the full 2000 watts of solar on the roof we'll be able to run one of these head units purely off of solar uh, which is really handy on those hot days um, and we can warm it up a little bit in the um, in the mornings if it's cold just off of the batteries um, so we are very, if we don't run any of the, the high drawing stuff, we can live um, indefinitely on just purely solar, uh, which is great. Um, we only really need to stop um, sort of every, just under a week for water. Um, gas lasts us forever, so we can be off grid for um, however long we want. We just need to conserve energy when we can. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for coming on the tour and... That's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't have anything else to yeah, say. Yeah, very cool. Um, again, we're at um, Big Four in Early, beautiful place. Um, if you want to check out more of our stuff, then we do have a full YouTube channel, um, Instagram, Facebook, all of that stuff. Um, so chuck us a follow. Um, if you do see us on the road, then make sure you come and say hello. We really like meeting people on the road. Yeah. Um, we've got two kids as well, um, nine and five, and they love running movie nights. So um, yeah, come and say hello, come and have a feed and a beer. Um, and we'll see you on the road. Nice yeah, one. Yeah, sounds good. See you guys. Ciao. Cool. Yeah.